Paul. Well, uh, first off, you know, after a period of inactivity, you're getting, you know, things going again. What what kind of, you know, brought you out again? Yeah, we always been out doing the shows, man. We never left the shows. And, you know, the shows for the hip hop cats are usually underground, but they have a great following. And we just do what we got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? We keep that hip hop movement alive. You, you can see it right there, man, the love that goes on with records that's 20 years old and better, man. So this is what I've always came in for, man, the love of this kind of music, this genre. I respect the genre. It's been good to me. I'm going to do it until, you know, somebody tells me I can't do it no more. Okay. Your, uh, your peak of your popularity was uh, in the 90s. How would you, you know, looking at the, at the music scene nowadays, how would you um, say Chab Rock fits into what's going on right now? Where do you see your place? Me, man, I like to rock in my audience. That's my audience right there. I'm not trying to get youngins. Youngins is for my son. He loves that kind of music. I'll buy it for him if it makes certain sense or whatever. Um, the, the fan base that we created and that we got, that's what I need to give them some because they veered away from hip hop. Whether they went into gospel or they went to jazz or other things, neo soul, just here to show them that we are still here to give them music that they know when they love. Okay. Um, you've essentially chosen, uh, you know, hip hop over college, uh, you know, in a way. I mean, uh, now, years later, how do you feel about the choice? Are you still as enthusiastic and excited about it, or do you feel like maybe you missed out on something? No, I man, I love everything I did, man, and, and stuff that's left to do. You know, it's a beautiful thing, man. I mean, when you have a calling, you have a calling. You have guys that um, have their calling to do different things in life. You know, I know guys that went to school with me that were last year in medical school and left, you know, to do whatever, write a book about who knows what, you know, whatever it's calling them. When that calling comes, you got to follow it. Uh, do you have any new music coming out? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, the new album comes out in April, The Grown and Sexy Theory. Just for that crowd right there. Okay. okay. How many new songs do you have in it? We must have recorded 200 songs, but the album's going to have like 15. Okay, great. Um, are there any uh, collaborations with new artists that, you, that you're getting into, or are you kind of keeping it to old school? No, I did. that album's old, old school, but we're doing a lot of things with new artists. But that one is for old school and that crowd. Period. Okay. Okay, gotcha. And is there anything that, um, uh, you know, any, any place where people can go to get more information about you? Yeah, historyofmusic.com, that's H-Y-Z-T-O-R-Y, music.com. Uh, my name is Chuck, I'm Okay, great.